Hey, so I've blocked someone under my no sh bullshit argument policy. Uh, his name's politically incorrect, who I had previously resisted writing a video about because, well, he's just one of those NYC douchebags that make the city oh so fun. He has a video called Trans-Gender Rapists and Why I Hate Them, which I'll come back to later. Here's what he had to say on my assertion that the NFL reduces life expectancy by 22 years and is thus sexist. Of course, NFL football will knock years off your life, but 22 is pushing it. You obviously don't watch much sports, because the guys that die young have a history of drug and drinking abuse. The world will never be equal in all areas, and it does not always need to be in every case. Women won't die in masses for a country, nor do they work dangerous jobs. We all have roles to play for a reason, so why complain? Women are caregivers and men are supporters. Well, first of all, I would argue that... Uh, the roles that we have to play are relics of a bygone era, and a particularly prominent uh, men's rights activist, Warren Farrell, would agree with me on that one. Uh, there's, there's not really any reason for you to continue to assert that, um, to continue to assert that these roles are somehow still valid in 2011. Um, they're not. You know what? We don't have to worry about the other tribe coming over and, you know, killing all of the defenders so that, you know, if the village needs to reproduce, it matters whether or not a hundred women were killed or no, or no women were killed. Um, we don't need a single man to, say, uh, to uh, save the species anymore. And quite frankly, I'm glad that it means your genes won't get passed on. But that's not the point. The point that Politically Incorrect is disputing is a statistic for which there have been numerous studies. Uh, here's sptimes.com from 2006 saying, while U.S. life expectancy is 77.6 years, that's for men, recent studies suggest the average for NFL players is 55, 52 for linemen. So politically incorrect. Got evidence to the contrary? If not, under the rules of my channel, you withdraw your speculation and get the fuck off my page. His reply was... Thus, look at what linemen do for the game, question mark, and sports users are full of, sports are full of drug users who use all sorts of things to play the game. I could give you links that go in my favor, also, so your proof is not really proof at all. Okay, I'm simply sick and tired of this notion that women want different things. You both good and bad on both sides, we are no different in terms in social interaction, yet you speak like women are so different. Why? Well, I'm not talking about socioeconomic differences. I will say, in aggregate, women tend to have different values than men, tend to relate with others differently than men. Some of that's socialized, some of that's inherent. I'm really not interested in picking it all apart. Um, I will say, though, that to the extent that society is sexist against women, it is also demonstrably sexist against men. Um, and, yeah, it's because you can pull email links in your favor? Look, if my proof is not proof, well, you can't or refuse to cite anyone who's corrected for race and socioeconomic background and a uh, history of child abuse, etc., that would otherwise shorten life expectancy before they get to the NFL. So, while not declaring myself right, I've yet to see any contradicting studies. I've yet to see anything that says... All things being equal, the NFL takes X years off someone's life uh, as opposed to what they would otherwise expect to have. Uh, but hey, politically incorrect is declared he's ignoring my evidence. So, you know, off the page. Uh, that's how it works, folks. If you're not willing to engage and you're not willing to follow a basic evidentiary standard, fuck off. Um, go and find somewhere else to, you know, be an ignorant douchebag. Oh. And the aforementioned video is exactly what you think it is. Uh, the trans-gender rapists one. Uh, trans women have to tell their partners they're trans because otherwise you're tricking someone. And if they don't, it's rape. All right, asshole, let's break it down for you. You want trans women to tell you that they're really men because of cissexism, plain and simple. You don't think our expressed genders are as legitimate as what a doctor who just slapped ass at birth did a ruler test and said, it's a boy, did. I mean, you know, 
and one of the things that really drives that is you're really fucking afraid that you'd find someone attractive who wasn't, you know, a girl at birth. Well, you know, I have news for you, asshole. I mean, it's not like there's been a study done that says male to female transsexuals have female neuron numbers in a limbic nucle uh, nucleus, Creever et al. Gin Endocrinol Met Lab, 2000. The present findings of somatostatin neuron. Uh, Neuronal sex differences in the BSTC and its sex reversal in the transsexual brain clearly support the paradigm that transsexuals' sexual differentiation of the brain and genitals may go into opposite directions and point to a neurobiological basis of gender identity disorder. Or, you know, another that says, White matter microstructure in female to male transsexuals before cross-sex hormonal treatment, a diffusion tensor imaging study. Remetti et al. J. Uh, Psychiatric Residency, 2010, June 8th. Conclusions. Our results show that the white matter microstructure pattern in untreated FTM transsexuals is closer to the pattern of, the, of subjects who share their gender identity, males, than those who share their biological sex, females. I'm going to leave the busted language alone. Our results provide evidence for an inherent difference in the brain structure of FTM transsexuals. Oh, wait. So yeah, those studies actually exist, asshole. I'm a girl at birth, and you should disclose to any woman you sleep with that you're a bad stereotype of a gender theorist by way of the newsstand outside of the Port Authority. And if you don't, well, don't worry. Just like you think you can tell that we're trans, we can tell that you're a douchebag. Good night, and get fucked.